Dark Shadows number 66, BTR 32067, Air 4367, take one. My name is Victoria Winters. The time for darkness and for sleep has come to Collinwood. But lights blaze from her many windows, and sleep is still a stranger. Voices, angry voices, frightened voices, reverberate through the long halls, and the air is very cold. Cold with a long-felt fear. Cold with a long-felt rage. What are you doing here? We've come to see you, aren't you? Both of us. But that's ridiculous. This time of night? Liz, why did you let them in? She can't keep me out, Roger. Not anymore. What is this all about? You'll find out in a few minutes. No. All right. I'll talk to you if you insist. But Liz stays out of it. No, Liz stays in. This has nothing to do with her. It involves her in no way whatsoever. But it will. Shall we step inside? The man was dead. It was Roger I saw behind the wheel of the car. He's lying. Roger, please. How could he see who was sitting where it was dark? You know it was you. Maybe it looked as if I was sitting behind the wheel because Bert was slouched over drunk. That's not true. It is. You were behind that wheel. That's a lie, and you know it. It's the truth. Is it? Can't you see what they're, what they're doing, the two of them? They are conniving. They're trying to ruin me, both of us, the two of us, the family name. Burke's always been envious. Envious? Who'd envy you? You're nothing but a bunch of hypocritical cowards. He's paying Sam to say this. It's just another bribe. Another You'd nailed it for me, Roger. Thanks a lot. What do you mean? If you weren't driving, if you didn't kill that man, why did you feel the necessity to bribe Sam for his silence? Those paintings he sold you. Was that the bribe? It was not a bribe. Oh, no. You really wanted those paintings, didn't you, Roger? You wanted them so much that you threw them away. Did you give Sam money to keep him quiet? No, of course not. How can you say that? It, the money, it was extortion. What? Extortion? Yes. Sam witnessed the accident. Then he came up to me, and he said that if I didn't give him a certain amount of money, he would get up in court and say that I was the one driving that car, not work. That's a lie. Liz, you've got to believe me. It's the truth. No, it isn't. I hate to ruin your moment of triumph, Burke, but you have no real evidence. Yes, I do. What evidence have you? The testimony of an admitted extortion? It if... wasn't an extortion. Of course it wasn't an extortion. Can you prove it? Yes, I can. Because if you had been innocent, you would have had Sam in court and behind bars in less than two seconds. If you were innocent, Really innocent. The Collins' sense of justice would have demanded it. The Collins' power would have accomplished it. It wasn't a bribe, and I wasn't driving. I swear to that. Liz, you don't believe them, do you? I don't know. You do know. 
You've known all along. Yes, I guess I have. Please, you don't know what you're saying. Yes, I do. I have known it all along. Somewhere deep in the back of my mind. No, Liz, no. You've waited for this moment a long time, haven't you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're the keeper of the Collins' conscience, the Collins' honor. Now that we know, what do you suggest that we do? I don't know. You don't think it should be kept quiet? We all do things, terrible things, that we can't help. You think it should be forgotten? It will never be forgotten. But it should go unpunished. Call the police if you want to. No, Liz, I'm sorry. I'm leaving this all up to you. What are you going to do? I'm going to call the police. Liz! Mr. McGuire. Oh! Miss Winters. Well, I was going in to get a book, but they seemed to be having some sort of a conversation in there and uh, didn't want to interrupt. I'm uh, waiting for them to finish. I see. Ah, I suppose I can do without it. I'll get to sleep without the book. You haven't seen David, have you? Uh, no. Why? He's not in his room. Well, now, where could he be? Well, I don't know. He, he likes to wander around the house after he thinks everyone else is asleep. Yes. He's a very adventurous little boy. Well, if you'll excuse me, I say good night. Good night, Mr. McGuire. Liz, please, I beg you. I'm sorry, Roger. Why did you do that? You were really going to call the police, weren't you? Well, yes, of course. Then forget it. What do you mean? I just wanted to see if you really had the guts to do it. I suppose you think you can keep doing this over and over again. Well, I won't let you do it. I won't let you humiliate either one of us every time you think you need some amusement. Let him do what he wants to do as long as he doesn't go to the police. There's no way to live, Roger. Believe me. I meant it, Liz. You don't have to call, and I give you my word. I'll never bring up the subject again. I've had my moment. I've known what it's like to have power over the Collins family. For now, I'm satisfied. Almost, that is. You mean you're, you're really not going to the police? On one condition. Confess. What? I said confess. You mean you, you want me to turn myself in? No. I merely want you to admit that you did it. Here and now. In front of Liz, in front of Sam, in front of me. I want to hear the words. I want to hear you say them. I... I can't. Yes, you can. Sam, refresh his memory. You were driving. The car was weaving all over the road. OK, Sam. Now, Roger, you were driving the car. You hit the man. You killed him. Say it. Roger, please. I didn't know what I was doing. Say it! I was driving. I hit the man. I killed him. And the money you gave Sam. I gave the money to Sam to keep him quiet. And now, just one more thing. Please. I sent an innocent man to prison for five years. I... Say it! Say it! An innocent man for five years. Say it or I'll choke it out of you. I sent an innocent man to prison for five years. At last, 
Now it's over. I thought I wanted to see you rot in prison. But people like you rot wherever they are. Please, don't look at me now. Please. Willie, this is important. I overheard part of a conversation tonight. I think Liz maybe is going to call the police. Yeah. Well, so be ready to move out. Fast. <laughs> I was told by Miss Winters that you were listed among the missing, so uh, I, I was looking for you. Well, you, how could I have been in there? See, it's padlock from the outside. Yes, now, I was just noticing that. Now, what are you doing down here at this time of night? Waiting around. Oh, waiting for someone to find you, eh? Little game of hide and seek, eh? Huh? No. I was waiting around to see a ghost. A ghost? Yes, I've heard them lots of times. And a few times I've seen them. Well, now, are you sure that just couldn't be your imagination? Positive. Mm -hmm. Well, do you expect to see one tonight? Well, I'm not sure. Would you like to wait around with me? <laughs> well, I'd like to, David, but uh, Miss Winters is looking all over for you. Well, why don't we stay down here and see if she can find us? Uh, no, I don't think that would be a very good idea. Now, come on. Let's go. Yeah, now that I've been found out, I guess I might as well go. Yeah, oh, by the way, David. What is in that room? No one knows. And I hope nobody finds out. Oh? And why do you hope nobody finds out? Well, it won't be scary anymore if somebody knows what's in there. Well, now, isn't it possible that that might be even more frightening? How do you mean? Well, sometimes... Mystery can be very, very frightening. And sometimes the truth, facts, can be even more horrifying. I'm waiting. Go ahead, say it. Say what? You want me to leave Collingwood? I don't want to talk about it any more tonight. Liz, please. Don't send me away. I don't know where I'd go. I don't know what I'd do. And David. Think of David. What'll happen to him? He is a Collins, after all. Everyone does terrible things. Things one regrets for the rest of one's life. I couldn't help it. I didn't want to kill him. Did you have to add cowardice and bribery to what you'd already done? You sent an innocent man to prison for five years. I couldn't help myself. Please try to understand. I can't talk about it anymore. Please leave me alone. Ago. Where's Miss Winters? Oh, I don't know. Probably downstairs looking for me. And where have you been? Oh, around. Do you know? Oh, walking through the house like I sometimes do. Well, you've gone upstairs to bed. Aunt Elizabeth, do you think that 
well, that the truth, facts, can be more horrifying than a mystery. What on earth are you talking about? Well, that's what Mr. McGuire said. At first, I thought he was relating to the door in the lock, the locked door in the basement. The locked door in the basement? Yes, but then he said that he was just talking in general. What made you think he was talking about the locked room? Because that's where he found me. He found you there when? Just a minute ago. You know, I thought he was trying to get into the room. But it ended up that he told Miss Winters that he'd look for me. He was in the basement? Well, yes. Uh, you go on up to bed now, right away. Okay, I'm going. But Mr. McGuire seemed to think that the locked room in the basement was just filled with junk. Is it, Aunt Elizabeth? Will you please go to bed? I'm going. I have a feeling that he was trying to get into that door. That maybe he wasn't looking for me. But I could be wrong. Yes. You could be wrong. <laughs> Well, I finally got David into bed. You know who found him? Who? Mr. McGuire. In the basement. In the basement? What was he doing there? Well, he said that he was looking for him. He, he knew that I was trying to find him. At least that's what David said. Do you believe it? No. Not really. Especially since... Since what? Well, since he said that he was going up to his room and he wasn't going to look for David, and besides... What? Nothing. I I've got to stop thinking that everything that man says is a lie. Vicki, you must tell me. When I came downstairs, he was standing outside the drawing room doors listening. Vicki, that man is up to something. He said that he was looking for a book and he was waiting for the conversation in there to be finished. I don't believe that for a moment. It is possible. I don't like the man, Vicky. I don't trust him. Mother can say over and over again that he's an old friend of hers. But I don't believe even her. But it's not like your mother to lie. I know, and that's why I don't trust him. Because he's making her lie. How do you know? Well, I can tell. It, it, she seems afraid of him. As though he has some hold over her. But that's not possible. Your mother is a very strong woman. She wouldn't let anyone do a thing like that to her. Then how do you explain it all? How do you explain his being here? And don't say it's because he's an old friend of hers. He isn't a friend. He's not a friend of hers, and he's not a friend of mine. Mr. McGuire is not a friend of anyone. Who is it? Come on, I can't see you. Who is it? Is it David? Vicky. No, Jason. It's not David and it's not Vicky. Oh, Elizabeth. I thought you might be Miss Winters. She was searching all over for him and, uh, well, I was helping him uh, find uh, him. She found him. Or rather, you did. Down here. Oh. Well, then. You've seen him. I told you to stay away from that room. Oh, yes, yes, I know you did, Elizabeth, and I apologize for not respecting your wishes. No one goes in that room, and no one is going into that room ever. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that. The next time I find you down here, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. In fact, I'm asking you to leave right now. You're asking me to leave. No, I'm telling you. No one goes in that room, not even you. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Only a little while ago, I was considering leaving on my own. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, nothing. But now, I don't think I will. I want you out of here. 
away from Collinwood, out of Collinsport before morning. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh, no, it isn't. Not necessary for you to be here. Oh, it's not necessary for me. But it is for you. What do you mean? If I were to leave here, I might meet people. The authorities, the police, and I might want to talk to them. No. Yes. You wouldn't. You agreed not to. You promised. Wouldn't I? Anyway, why should it bother you if I want to look in here? I already know what's in here. Then why don't you stay away? Maybe I want to pay my respects. Don't say that. Why not? Paul was a good friend of mine. He may not have been a very good friend or husband to you, Liz, but he was a good and loyal friend to me. Pity you had to go and kill him. And weren't you fortunate that you had a good, loyal friend like me around to bury him for you? Stop it. I'm sorry, Liz, but you made me say it. But I won't say it again. Unless, of course, you force me to. Shadows is a Dan Curtis production.